Our first question is why is the cell called the structural and functional unit of life? The answer for this question is a cell is the smallest unit of life and is capable of all living functions. Cells are the building block of life. This is the reason why cells are referred to as the basic structural and functional unit of life. Now to make it more brief and descriptive you can also include that it was discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. You can also mention the function and the shape and sizes of the cell. The second question is why are lysosomes known as suicide bags? The answer is lysosomes are known as suicidal bag because when cell gets damaged during the disturbance in cellular metabolism, lysosomes may burst and the digestive enzyme thus related digested their own cell. The third question is make a comparison and write down ways in which plant cells are different from animal cells. Plant cells they are large in size, cell wall is present, lysosomes are absent or very few in number. Plastids are present, subunits of Golgi bodies known as dicytosomes are present, vacuoles are larger in size. Animal cells, they are smaller in size, cell wall is absent, lysosomes are larger in number, plastids are absent, prominent Golgi bodies are present, vacuoles are smaller in size. Now it's better if you draw the diagrams of both the plant cell and animal cell since it's going to help in increasing your marks. The fourth question is why is the plasma membrane called a selectively permeable membrane? The answer is the cell membrane of the plasma membrane is known as a selectively permeable membrane because it regulates the movement of substances in and out of the cell. This means that the plasma membrane allows the entry of only some substances and prevents the movement of some other materials. Now our fifth question is on experimental based. The question is put dried raisin in plain water and leave them for some time. Then place them in a concentrated solution of sugar or salt. What do you observe in both cases? Now. The answer in the first case is raisins gain water and swells when placed in pure water. Case 2. When placed in concentrated solution, raisin lose water and hence it shrinks. Sixth question is define osmosis. The answer is osmosis is a special type of diffusion that is passage of water across a selectively permeable membrane from a region of high water concentration to the region of low water concentration. Osmosis is also a passive transport that is no external energy is required for the passage. Seventh question is what are eukaryotic cells? The answer is the cell which are advanced and possesses a well defined nucleus are known as eukaryotic cells. Membrane bound organelle like chloroplast, mitochondria, Golgi bodies etc are present. These cells are further divided into plant and animal cells. Our eighth question is what are prokaryotic cell? The answer is the cell which do not possess a well defined nucleus are called prokaryotic cells. These are primitive without having membrane bound organelle. Example bacteria, blue green algae. 